This is the only anti-aging and moisturizing cream that works according to scientists and has a scientific consensus behind it. I've been doing a lot of research on the beauty industry, including finishing this great science book about your skin, The Remarkable Life of the Skin, and I've realized there's a lot of misinformation out there about products. So we're gonna sit down with my partner, Mitch, because he doesn't really know or use skin creams to see if he can actually pick and choose which ones are more effective and teach you how to actually read the ingredients lists of these beauty products to understand from a scientific perspective which ones work. So starting in your early 20s, you lose roughly 1% of your collagen per year. Okay, so like a, a lot of it's gone. Yeah, we're in our 30s. <laughs> collagen is the protein that gives your skin strength and plumpness and things that in our society we deem as good. As this collagen disappears, that's when you get wrinkles. I'm not that aware of wrinkles, but I feel like after this video, that's all I'm gonna think about. I have one here and I have two here. Like I sleep on my face like this, like. <laughs> Literally, like every morning you wake up next to me, it's literally like, you know when someone's so dehydrated, like somehow in the night you become the most dehydrated person <laughs> on the planet and you wake up with like lines everywhere like <sighs> and I'm always like, well now you have wrinkles. <laughs> literally trying to make a beauty video about being snatched and you're calling out my most vulnerable part of the day. In order to understand skin cream, you must first understand the largest organ in your body, your skin. The hypodermis holds the sweat glands, fat cells, and the base of hair follicles. Next, we have the dermis, which contains collagen fibers, of which we will be talking a lot about today, and the sebaceous gland, which secretes natural oils. Next, we have the epidermis, which starts with the stratum basale, right on top of the dermis, consisting of stem cells that continuously divide, creating your skin cells known as keratinocytes. Next is the stratum spinosum, where the keratinocytes link up, then it is the stratum granulosum where the keratinocytes flatten, lose their fats and nucleus, then reach the outermost layer of the skin, the stratum corneum, which is now the effectively dead cells at the outermost layer of your skin. The epidermis is so thin, only one millimeter, but it is your main barrier to the outside world. And a lot of the BS from skincare products is because this layer is actually so effective at keeping the active ingredients in creams out of your body. So I'm gonna bring out two creams at a time. You are gonna try and decipher which one you think is better. I'm just trying to figure out which ones are like more BS versus which one has like maybe more legitimacy to yes. the claims slash ingredients that would actually help my yes. skin. Yes, exactly. My skin, okay. That my BS detector is on. So your first two creams are right here. We have the London and Grant Collagen Moisturizer. Oh my God, I've always wanted to do the beauty thing. What do they do? <laughs> the London <laughs> Or the Blue Lean Revolutionary Anti-Aging Cream with Methylene Blue. Okay, okay. Ooh, probably a sign that it's worse for you. And I've never heard of <laughs> methylene blue. Oriza sativa, it's like, isn't that a strain of marijuana? <laughs> Rice bran oil. My honest like evaluation, if I was to see these both and guess which is either more legit or better for you would be this one. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. If you ever find a cream that has collagen in it or a face mask with collagen in it that you are topically applying to your skin, it's 100% BS. Ah. Collagen- Isn't that what everything says? A lot of things. It's, cr it's actually, look at this one. Gold collagen. So there's literally flakes of gold in this. 24 karat eye cream, this is called, with collagen. There's a lot of things that claim collagen will help with wrinkles, but the molecule itself is too large to actually go through your epidermis, what we were talking about earlier, the keratinocytes. It does not get through, so anything with collagen, do not ever buy. When you read the ingredients of this methylene blue one, it has glycerin pretty high up. Glycerin is a really important molecule for moisturizing your face. Mm -hmm. It actually keeps the fluids in and on your face. So if you are looking for a moisturizer, and you want a cheap one, for example, look at the ingredients list. If glycerin is high up, that will be a pretty good moisturizer. This has glycerin at ingredient number three. This has glycerin at ingredient number like six. Not only is it like BS with the collagen, it's not even that moisturizing. It's a much worse cream. Bye London and Grant. <laughs> oh, we broke, we broke our floor. <laughs> it's claiming anti-aging 
in its actual packaging from Methylene Blue. There's no scientific claims behind Methylene Blue helping with anti-aging at all. That's purely a tactic to get you to buy this. Also, not only that, but moisturizer in and of itself is not anti-aging. There's no scientific claims behind moisturizer helping with any anti-aging when it comes to wrinkles or photo aging of your skin. So next you have the Blue Lean oh. versus this Pure vitamin C, La Roche Posay. Okay, I thought it said La Croix, and I was like, they have a face cream? <laughs> so this one retails at 59 Canadian dollars. This is more expensive. This is a fancy, fancy thing. And big writing, anti-wrinkle concentrate, <laughs> renovating antioxidant. Okay, so we're Renovating? <laughs> we're going in, we're renovating the face. Uh, uh. Ew. Looks like jizz. Uh, uh. Ew. So it, it truly smells like foundation to me, like a liquid foundation. Oh, I love the smell. There's something about this first one that I just like really liked. And do we know like vitamin C, is that the vitamin we want in our skin? This is what these companies need to do. It should be regulated. They need to say what that is doing. I honestly think I'm gonna stick with the blue lean just cause I liked it more and I feel like these claims and these terms are not as clear to me and it just seems like they're saying things that would convince someone that doesn't know. Okay, you're right. This, this is still the superior cream. Good job. Hashtag not sponsored though. <laughs> so antioxidants are something that are claimed on a lot of products that people are buying. There is not a scientific consensus that antioxidants will help with anti-aging. Topically. Topically applying, vitamin C is an antioxidant. And what is important to know is that as you read in here, the second ingredient, bran oil, also has two types of vitamin E in it, which are antioxidants. So this is claiming mostly only that it has vitamin C, which is an antioxidant. This cream has more moisturizing properties and actually its second ingredient is a vitamin E antioxidant. So it's already got what that's claiming without Exactly, even... without having to write it all over. It's being subtle. It's yeah. like, I'm not gonna brag. It's kind of funny because they're advertising this methylene blue thing, which is actually the BS part of this. Huh. So now I wanna get into the idea of claims and language on this packaging. You're allowed to say, a lot more misleading things on skin creams than you are on safe food. It's just it's just a less regulated industry. So here it says dermatologist tested for safety. Okay, so first of all, everything is tested for safety. Like that's a weird thing that they're claiming. But if something says dermatologically tested, that just means a dermatologist had to test it. It doesn't mean that the results were saying that it was doing anything. It doesn't actually mean that like it's essentially a good cream. That's a really interesting sentence you can put on packaging and it's 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 meaningless. I hate that. I know, it's crazy. And clinically proven, there's no regulation on what that clinical study could be. Technically, you could make a cream. You could go to any clinic, you could test it on one person, your best friend, and then you could write clinically proven. What? Yes, there's no regulating body to say if something is clinically proven or not. They're not Sneaky. technically lying. Sneaky. And even here, that's it says a renowned antioxidant, which we now know, with something called neurosensing. And then when you look it up, it's a chemical that this company has created. And there's huh. not really any clear information on what exactly it is. And there's definitely no clear scientific information that it does anything. <laughs> Active ingredient is another important one. Active ingredient, again, it sounds really great to your ears, but that could only be in vitro. That could be in a Petri dish. That could be on rats. It doesn't have to ever be on humans. Active ingredient, dermatologically tested, clinically proven. All of these things are essentially debunked. Don't allow those words to trick you. You. And again, we're gonna be learning how to read the ingredients list to get the best moisturizer and anti-aging cream for you. So number three, you have the Protect <laughs> and Perfect Intent. Number three is number seven. Number uh, seven, yes, that is the brand, I guess. Okay, yeah. actually, I kind of like this branding. I like, they're kind of similar. They're sort of simple, single tone. Now that it's out, it's like, this feels like pretty cheap. So water's not even the first one. What's dimethicone. The first? Okay, so dimethicone is essentially silicone. It's an additive to make the cream cream. Yeah. It just makes it like thick. It's, yeah, it doesn't do anything good or bad. Aqua. Makes I kind of like that they said aqua instead yeah. of water. <laughs> I know. Glycerin, okay. Phenoxyethanol is in tons of creams. It is a preservative. A lot of these things are preservatives and additives. So it doesn't like rot. Exactly, preservative so that it doesn't rot and doesn't get bacteria on it. So there's some pretty important ingredients Ooh. in there. <laughs> That's what moisturizer does to my yeah. hands. <laughs> Morris Alba leaf extract. So a lot of plant 
additives like aloe, honey, for example, those are natural humectants. So those are the types of ingredients that will moisturize your skin. I see like ethyl paraben, and I know that some creams and things say like they're paraben, paraben free, free yeah. so I don't know if that's like a negative against this. Okay. One ingredient is retinol palmitate, oh. and I only know this because I've kind of heard you alluding to retinol. I don't know if it's the same as retinol as an ingredient that is good. I'm gonna try it. Such a little squeeze. This one's only $30. Oh, oh, it's really coming out. Not much of a smell. They all look like semen. Again, this one's kind of Ooh. like gluey. I actually still prefer this one because I like this kind of substance more. Like it feels more like a real cream and it doesn't have too much of a scent. But I'm gonna go with number seven. Like, so you chose number seven over Blue Lean? Yes. Correct! Woo! You're doing so good! The interesting thing about this is that the last two ingredients are palmitol polypeptides. So these are fatty chain acids attached to proteins. And studies are now showing that they can actually go past your epidermis to your dermis and stimulate collagen creation. So those are like an interesting new sort of like cutting edge science. Cool. Not enough to really claim that much, but interesting that it's in this. This also has moisturizing properties and it has retinal palmitate, which has been proven to increase collagen, but it does thin your skin. It should only be applied at night. And it's not actually saying here how much of that ingredient is in there, which is kind of interesting and will lead to our final cream. Yeah. So against our number seven protect and perfect intense advanced, <laughs> we have this SkinCeuticals Retinol 0.3% pure retinol, which is interesting because you were saying you don't know how much retinol is in here, but you do in this one. Because I know you. <laughs> have this now. Yes, I do after my research, this. yeah. It seems more simplified. It's not trying to claim so many different things. So far as I can see, refining night cream, retinol. And it's just like a very specific number. Maybe it's not claiming like, oh, to have this vitamin, this yeah. vitamin, but it's like, here's a product that does a single thing. And I think that's really interesting. Retinol and retinoic acid is what we're gonna talk about right now because it is the only face cream for anti-aging that there is a scientific consensus about. This is retinol, 0.3%. This is something that you can buy over the counter you don't need a prescription for. Retinoic acid is something you need a prescription for. So okay. these are all derivatives of vitamin A. And this has all been proven to go through your epidermis, which we talked about earlier, to your dermis and stimulate collagen growth. It also creates new blood vessels. It's, it creates angiogenesis in your face. So it's Whoa. actually quite intense. And it's interesting because it's like, obviously the one that affects your face intensely from a biological perspective is the one that's actually doing something. If you want to, retinol you can buy right now. You could buy this product, it's quite expensive. And I think they're starting to realize I can charge a lot for this because it does technically work. So if you're in your 20s and you're already starting to lose your collagen, you could just buy this retinol 0.3% start there. But if you want to work your way up to a stronger, uh, more intense concentration, you do need a dermatologist. And that's because it does irritate your skin. It can create redness and retinoic acid in and of itself is toxic when you consume it by mouth to rats. And therefore they have actually like fallen under like regulating bodies as dangerous. Uh, That's another reason why you need to go to a dermatologist. Thinking that it's gonna irritate my skin and make it red, make me sensitive to the sun and all these things. Yeah, it's apply like, this, you have to apply this at night. Don't apply it during the day because you will more likely to get sunburned. It makes which, me a little afraid. <laughs> well, you you kind of should be. So one thing that's important, and they, they make it clear on the packaging and based on the scientific evidence of this, is you need to start low. You can start at a 0.1%, start once a week, work your way up to two times a week, work well, your way up. why do we up. have that one? Um, I don't know, I thought I could handle it. <laughs> I apply it at night with a moisturizer. That's something that they say is worth doing because it does dry out your skin. And also light, literal light can deactivate the retinol. Like it's a very sensitive molecule it's, and it does make your skin feel weird and it does make my red ass skin turn more red. I'm freaked out by that. Yeah, that, no, that's totally fair to be freaked out by it. <laughs> it means you don't care also that much about this anti-aging Or I'm just anxiety ridden and scared to like do yeah. something that could yeah. potentially not be like just 100% safe. <laughs> yeah, okay, but I mean, it's the only one that works. Okay, wow. Well, okay, yeah. toss them all out. What I will say, and this is no shade to anyone. I just want to put it out there that also there's nothing wrong with wrinkles. There's nothing wrong with not wanting them. There's nothing wrong with having them. I don't believe that there's any medical reason that wrinkles are bad. No, they're someone. not. They're actually quite beautiful in like indications of a wise life. Mm. Yeah, wrinkles are maybe more of like a sign of the inevitability of death. <laughs> and in this industry, <laughs>
it's necessary, okay? I just like start pouring. I don't know, am I driving off? In summary, don't fall for products that claim that collagen is gonna do anything to increase collagen in your skin. It won't even get absorbed. Don't fall for sentences such as dermatologically tested, clinically proven, or active ingredients. Make sure that there's humectants high on the ingredient list, such as glycerin is a very obvious one, or natural ones like aloe and honey. If the ingredients have antioxidants, palmitol, oil, polypeptides, and retinol in them, you're checking all the boxes for any scientific sort of understanding for anti-aging. But retinol is the only ingredient that is scientifically proven to be absorbed and to stimulate collagen within your skin when applied topically. That is our video, but I just wanna say one more really important cream, and that is sunscreen. Uh, because UVA radiation is actually what breaks down the collagen, so staying out of the sun is like the best. Preventative. Technique. It's preventative. Also, really good for your skin, not drinking, not smoking, sleeping a lot, and drinking lots of water, and eating healthy. I am now sounding like your mom. Thank you guys for watching. We hope that the beauty industry is quaking, yeah, ready for James Charles, look out, skin. sister. If hey sisters, in, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> if in future videos you notice that we're looking really flawless, let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.